Hi, I look a bit crazed, a bit deranged, but hi, welcome to another video. But today we're doing a really quick July haul. My August haul, it's literally the 7th of August. My August haul is already insane. Um, to be fair, I went birthday shopping and I got some secondhand things off my buddy April. Um, April should have a haul coming soon, I think. I don't think it's posted yet. Um, by the time you're seeing this, I'm not sure. Um, where Erin and I discussed the things we bought shopping while we were out with April. We all kind of got on a video and talked about it. So that should be around. Um, I'll try and remember to link it down below when it comes out. Uh, but these are the things I bought in July. So, let's jump in. First off, I picked up the Merciless ones by Namina Fauna, which is the conclusion to the Gilded Ones duology. I really liked the Gilded Ones. Um, I thought it was a really strong, brutal um YA fantasy uh African inspired fantasy and I just had a really really good time reading book one um there were some bits that were like really impactful and hopefully I really enjoy book two and the conclusion to the duology I also picked up Payback's A Witch by Lana Harper which is a romance um fantasy witchy book I'm really excited to read this I've had it on my radar for ages and it's taken a while just to get in at the bookstore um and I <laughs> it's a romance but it's witchy I'm excited about it I've heard mixed things but I feel like that's a lot about people's expectations so I'm excited to see what I think um a couple of fantasy fantasies actually most of these are fantasy fantasy so let's jump to the one that's not and this is a horror thriller called Just Like Home by Sarah Gailey again I've heard mixed reviews about this but I'm not sure what I'm going to think, um, but I love, have loved pretty much everything I've read from Sarah Gailey to various degrees, so I think this one will be good as well. Um, I don't really know what the plot of this is, other than that it's a horror thriller. Um, I kind of don't need to know, I kind of just want to read it, so mm, there's that. There's that. It's a lot chunkier than the last book from her, um, by like 100 pages. <laughs> Why is it not wanting to focus on me? It really likes my bookshelves. Um, the last four things are all adult fantasy. First up, the furthest sta- I will keep wanting to say furthest. The furthest station by Banaranovich. Um, this is a novella in the, uh, what's it called? It's only like 100 pages. In the um, Rivers of London series by Banaranovich. I enjoy this series. I think it has some faults. Um, I've talked about them before, but I really do enjoy this series. And this is the next chronological one, not in publishing order, but I'm kind of going in chronological order of like where the half books sit, I like the novellas and things sit according to Goodreads. So this is my next pick. So I'm going to be reading that sometime soon because it's really short, it's like 100 pages. Um, and then we have a book I had not heard of till I saw it in the bookstore and became obsessed. This is The Final Strife by Sarah El Arifi. This is um, blurbed by Andrew Stewart from The Bone Shard Daughter. Um, and it says, The Empire rules by blood. The Aktiba, a set of trials held every 10 years to find the next Ember rulers of the Empire, is about to begin. Silo is destined to win the trials, stolen by blue blooded rebels as an infant. She was raised with the Duster's heart. Forged as a weapon to bring down the Empire from within. That bright future has turned to dust. But Sila wasn't made to sparkle, she was born to burn. And as the trials draw near, it's time for her to decide, will she rule the Empire or destroy it? It's also super floppy. Um, I love this cover. It's part of a series. What's the series called? Um, high Fantasy. It's... Um, I assume it's Arabic inspired in some way, though I'm not sure exactly from... What kind of area, but Middle Eastern or some description. Um, is the vibe I'm getting, maybe North African. And I literally I literally know nothing. But it looks really well like put together, like flicking through it. Sometimes just flicking through things like just gets me going. Um <laughs> and the uh, trials. My kind of plot. This just seems out of my alley, so I'm very excited about it. Next up we have The Thousand Deaths of Ardor Ben. This is a chunky little guy. Like, <laughs> he's like, this is 730 pages. And this is the first book in a trilogy. Um, Kingdom of Grit is the series. I've seen this recommended from Mouse at, um, well, 
Andy at Mouse Reads and Art at Ink and Plasma, both obsessed with this series. I think I will be too, but he big, he chonky. When will I get to this? Who knows? Maybe clear shit. <laughs> um, and finally, the conclusion to a trilogy I've absolutely adored, Locklands by Robert Jackson Bennett. This is the conclusion to Foundry Side. Um, what's the series actually called? The Founders Trilogy. I loved Foundry Side. I really, really enjoyed Shawfall, but not quite as much as Foundry Side. And I really hope I love this. I literally don't know what the plot is. Each kind of book had a self-contained arc, but with the same like characters, um, leading into like a big overall plot. Really interested to see what the focus of this one will be. It feels very sci-fi on the cover. Um, the series is like a fantasy where the magic is based on coding. Um, it's really cool. I really love it. Um, but. I can't explain it to you in any more detail than that. So these are the books I picked up in July. Um, I know I kind of rushed through it. I don't have much to say about any of them. But you know me, I tend to go into things pretty blind. So <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon with another video. Um, until next time, bye.